Welcome back. It is time to create our first application. Remember, the concept is creating a list where you can save the data. And the second thing is let's build the front end where we can the user can make use of while the service desk team is making use of the back end. On your SharePoint or let's say on your Microsoft list, you're going to see options here. You can see automate, you can see integrate. We are interested in integrate. When you click on the integrate, you're going to see three things here. From your hand, you might not see Power BI when you are taking this. Uh, this is my developer account and I have early access to the features released into Office 365 applications and services. That is why I have this Power BI. But we are interested in Power Apps. Now we get to Power Apps and say create an app. I mean, I think this is the second screen. Click and make it. Let's call it Issue Tracker App. Let's click on create. It's going to load power apps automatically and move, you know, open a new tab and start loading power apps. It might ask you to authenticate based on if that's your first time of logging in. It will load a URL. You can see eu.create.powerapps.com and it's loading the studio. And right now is it has connected to my database. It's trying to create my first three screens based on the data that I have in the database, which is the Microsoft list. Vowler, I have this screen here right with me. And if you look by this side, you can see three screens have been created. The browse screen one, the edit screen one, the edit, um, the detail screen one, and the edit screen one. Without doing anything, we have this functional application. If this is your first time, you may say dialog boss trying to prompt you. You can click on the option now to show you again and just click on next and OK. So what am I going to do here? Let me just go ahead and click on this play button to play the app. Wow. This is the app. It's functioning. When I click on this guy, it's opening up. This is the detail. I can delete. I can edit. Let me edit and come to assign. Um, yeah, assign to. Let me put a name here. Uh, let me put Adele. It's, you know, selecting Adele Vance. I'm going to click on this check to submit item. Which has been done. It has been assigned to Advance. If I go back to the Microsoft list, you see Advance has dropped here. Our application is actually ready and it's functional. Don't show me again. Okay. And it's functional. So this is the catch here. If you have done this, congratulations to you. The interesting thing here is this. Microsoft is bringing this key closer to the business. You know, you don't have to write complex code. If you build application with different programming languages, you will know that it's not that easy. Less than five minutes. You know, if you are doing this on your own and you know this, you just build your list from template, click the button and you have the application ready to use. This is really great. So I'm, I'm saying a big congratulations to you, right? This is just the beginning. We're going to do a lot of customization on this app, but let me take this video to just say congratulations to you if you have done this. In the next video, I will explain this environment so that at least maybe not all the tools, but you get familiar to what all these things looks like and you know, so that when we are navigating and making use of them, you get more familiar with them. All right, thank you and bye.